Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at using the VLOOKUP function to look up the first name and last name of somebody in a list. Now, the first name and last name are stored in different columns. So, we want to perform a VLOOKUP on multiple columns or multiple conditions, as you may call it. Now, the way we're going to do it in this video is we're going to create a helper column and we're going to concatenate the first and last name together, essentially creating one column or one lookup. Now, bear in mind that this technique will work on any situation where you need to look up based on multiple columns. So it will work for more than two as well. So it's a very flexible approach and is the easiest approach in this situation. Now I have done a video in the past on using a lookup formula on multiple conditions all in one formula, so without these helper columns. And I'll provide a link to that in the description of this video if you're interested in a more advanced technique. But this will get the job done lovely. Now I'm going to insert this helper column first of all, and it's going to have to go at the start, because VLOOKUP looks down the leftmost column of a table. And I'm just going to call it name, and I'm just going to write a formula here, I'm just going to do concatenate, and I'm just going to join the first and last name cells together. So I'm just going to join B2 and C2, got my ampersand in the middle there, to join them together in one column. I can double click the fill handle there to copy that down. And not that it really matters, but I'm going to use Format Painter to repeat the formatting so it looks consistent. Now this column can always be hidden you know, at a later date if you don't really want it on screen. And there's a decent possibility that you don't. Now, if you did want it on screen, you know, I could have put a space in between their names there and made it look easier in the eye. For the purposes of the lookup, though, all that is unnecessary. So I'm not going to worry for now. I'm going to zoom in on J2 so we can see this formula easier on screen. And I'm going to run a VLOOKUP to return the date registered, which is in column F here for, in this example, Victoria Ashworth, but for whatever name is in H2 and I2 there. So in my lookup value, I'm turning to create another one of those joined fields, those concatenated fields. I'm going to ask it to look at the array A to F, or the table that you're looking in, whatever that may be. So we have this at the moment. Typically that table array would be on a different sheet. This process would work equally well. Column 6 is what I'm after. It's in column F. It's the sixth column of the table array. And I'm doing an exact match. So I want false on the end. So this is like any other typical VLOOKUP. So as long as you're not new to doing VLOOKUPs, this is no surprise here. The only difference is a little concatenated field in there. So if I press enter now, that returns the 26th of May, which apparently is the date registered for a Victoria Ashworth. There she is from London, UK. And indeed, that is correct. So that is a lookup, a VLOOKUP on first name and last name, or basically a lookup formula on multiple columns. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel. Come check us out at computergargar.com.